Hi, my name is Erling Roberts. I live in Trafalgar, Indiana. I'm the third of four generations of naval officers in my family. I've been a Republican since high school. I believe in fiscal responsibility, family values, and the ability for someone to work for their success and enjoy the fruits of their labor. I am offended by the Trump administration at almost every turn. Let's talk about the Constitution of the United States. I took an oath to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States, and I believe that Donald Trump is trampling on the document. He's trampling on the intent of the Constitution. He's abusing his power. We repeatedly see that the Trump administration uh, pushes down people who disagree with the president or who won't kiss his ring. These people that he's putting down are the ones with the honest story. They're the ones with the truth. They're the ones that are telling us to be careful of the coronavirus. They're the ones that are fighting corruption in Ukraine. They're the ones that are speaking out when the truth is not what is being shared. They're not uh, speaking out and being disloyal at the first opportunity of some disagreement with the president. They are, they are expressing their concerns when the president of the United States is not following the Constitution as these people speak it see it. It is their job to speak up, and when they speak up, they will be punished for it, and they speak up anyway. Thank God for these people. President Trump handling the coronavirus is, is nothing short of embarrassing. Our country is losing its status. Uh, the president says that he purposely wants to downplay the, the, uh, the virus so as not to cause a panic, but in everything else that he does, he wants to cause a panic. Uh, he says that he wants to downplay the virus uh, so that it doesn't cause a panic, but then he goes on and calls it a hoax, which only incites people to get, get more emotional about, about their support for him. So he blames it on the Democrats when he knows full well that it's real, he knows full well that it's worse than the flu, and he knows full well that his top scientists are telling him it's a significant problem way before it is a significant problem in plenty of time to act. The law and order president doesn't care about the law. The law and order care, president cares about people bowing to him. That's it. If he cared about the law, he wouldn't violate the Hatch Act. If he cared about the law, he wouldn't ask foreign governments for help in his campaign to enrich himself. If he cared about the law, he wouldn't allow people in his own administration to stay in his hotels two hours away from their destination, Mr. Mike Pence. The president doesn't care about the people. 200,000 people have died. The president doesn't care about the law. He constantly violates the law. He did it before he was in office. He's doing it now that he's in office. I'm not sure he cares about order because if he cared about order, he would say just a few nice things to calm people down. It isn't very difficult. I will vote for Joe Biden, and I need you to vote for Joe Biden. Because if we don't send the world a message that we overwhelmingly repudiate what Trump is and who Trump is, who has supported Trump, if we don't throw them out of office with authority, then we will take many, many years to heal. I will vote for Joe Biden, and I will vote for Democrats necessary to end the Republican Trumpism that has taken over our country. Thank you.